So we are here in Butte, Montana. Um, we just wanted to check in and tell you how it's been so far. We're on day two. Yeah, first night was in Bozeman, Montana in a driveway. So um, we kind of hung out early this morning, just kind of went to the park and played around. And kids loved that. Yeah, entertained yeah. the kids for a while. And then uh, now we're here in Butte. Um, which was, it's an easy drive, but man, there is a pass going from Bozeman to Butte that is really, really long. Um, the grade is, it goes first, a 6% grade, and it's really long going up, and then you kind of smooth out for a while, and then it goes to an 8. So uh, it was long, and we made it, but uh, the <laughs> car did great, and um, now we're, we stopped to have lunch here. We are here in the Costco parking lot. This was our home for the night. Yeah. Right there by the cart. We were the only ones camping here too last night and we called ahead and we did get permission. So that was nice. I think there might have been one more camper in a different part of the, the parking lot. But Maybe. yeah, they gave us permission. They said it was fine. Um, as long as we stayed out of the way of where the traffic was going and um, this was a beautiful location. We're here in Missoula, Montana. Yeah. Um, if you ever pass through here, the Costco is on point. The, we were able to sit up under some trees and we got our Blackstone griddle out and we cooked some dinner. We had yeah. some uh, grilled chicken and fried veggies and made a big green salad with some veggies from our friend's garden. And we Thanks. even had company. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we had, we had a guest. <laughs> Um, so, uh, the actual camping in the parking lot was great. Um, no concerns there other than um, just have to keep a closer eye on the kids. Yeah. There's cars driving and um, we just we can't let them run here. Um, the traffic wasn't too bad. I mean, I could hear it, but no. it wasn't the end of the world. It's good white noise. Yeah. Yep. Um, the one struggle we did have was finding water. Um, we stopped at a couple of gas stations with no luck, and so finally I called um, an RV store in Missoula, and they had water, so we headed that way, and the gas station right next door also has water, so. Yeah, it's like a special Cenex. Um, they oh, have. Is it a Conoco? No, I think it's a Cenex. Oh, okay. And they have, like, they sell oil, and they sell, it's not just a gas station, it's a large, I think, farming kind of stuff, too, so. So far, those have actually had quite a bit of stuff, so we're going to yeah. look for those. And I think that's more the western part of the states. I think once we get out of like North Dakota, Montana area, um, we'll we won't be, right we won't be finding one. those again, <laughs> so yeah, that's okay. So we got lucky. We were able to fill with water. We did baths and showers for everybody last night. We're going to go dump our tanks now, and then we are back on the road. Yeah, follow us on the way. We're going to... We're Go headed for whitefish. whitefish. Yeah, and then Glacier. So uh, I guess we'll talk to you guys later. Stay tuned. We are enjoying um, the little moments here. Over here is Dad and the boys. They are catching grasshoppers and finding all sorts of bugs. Um, we just enjoyed a quick lunch. We're just at a scenic lookout outside of um, Colson, Montana. We drove through the Indian Reservation and um, Radley was napping, so we didn't make any stops. Unfortunately, we missed the Garden of a Thousand Buddhas, um, so maybe another trip will hit that one. Um, on our way to Kalispell and just uh, enjoying this beautiful day.
Are those you guys cameras? Cold, cold, cold down here. Hey guys! Uh, we have finally made it to Glacier. We are on going to the Sun Road. Um, that's the main goal for today is to just explore all the stops along that trail. Tomorrow we're going to try to hit up some kid-friendly hikes. Yeah. It would be nice. It was, uh, we got up early and got here around like 8-ish mm -hmm. and it's been actually pretty quiet so it's really nice to leave earlier rather than later. And look how pretty it is. Absolutely beautiful. So um, with that we hope that you enjoy a few of the clips from Going to the Sun Road. See ya! What's up guys? Here on Going to the Sun Road with the wife and kids. This road is crazy, crazy narrow, but um, it's actually really amazing. It's beautiful. It's difficult if you're the driver because you can't really gawk and look around. Um, you kind of uh, have to pull over every chance you can get. Uh, we're actually really, really surprised that it hasn't been as busy being Friday. Um, Labor Day weekend, we've actually gotten parking everywhere and we've gotten lucky. So, look how pretty this is. If you guys have never been to Glacier, you definitely need to come check it out. It is amazing. See you guys. Hey, have you guys had fun today? Do you think nature's beautiful? Tell them what we saw. I think I lost it. Did we see ground squirrels? Yeah. Oh yeah, the ground squirrel. It wanted your food, didn't it? What did What did that squirrel try to do? He uh, tried to eat my food. Yeah. He What'd you to tell eat him? Food. What'd you tell that ground squirrel? I put my feet up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> It was going to get your toes. Mama, eat. Yeah. Mama, eat. Yeah. Mama, eat. It's Mama, cool, maybe. Mama, eat. It's, it's maybe follow us. Maybe. It's okay. almost follow us. Do you want to say peace out? Peace out.
first spare. We have a little... First flat. Well, it's not flat. Well, not yet, we're, no. We're changing tires onto our spare. Preventative maintenance. We found a, uh, a slash somewhere. Now I don't even see And it. I am afraid of going oh, too far and then it popping out the sidewall and splitting. Right there. Which with the weight, I think it very well could. So we're just going to do this. We'd rather be safe than sorry. I don't want to do it on the side of the highway. <laughs> we're in a parking lot here just outside of... Um, St. Mary's campground, the St. Mary's entrance to Glacier, and um, we haven't done this yet, so no. we figured um, preventative maintenance before something bad happens, and it's a good learning experience. Yeah, now we can say we know how to change tire on our RV. And how fast we're we're timing ourselves, just like on Christmas Story. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi guys. We are now heading into Canada. We just left uh, St. Mary's Campground um, where we spent just the night and luckily we got a spot and uh, yeah there's a lot nice. of bear activity right now. Um, it's berry season so um, St. Mary's has a restriction to um, hard-sided campers only so we got lucky and they are renting all of the Yay. tent sites um what would normally be tents only they're renting to hard-sided campers and vehicles um so there was a lot of people sleeping in their cars um <laughs> some people were set up to sleep in their cars some people were not i guess probably the people who had reservations or had yeah is planning on camping in a soft side anyway and yeah maybe they so. don't want to give their spot up because it was really 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 pretty it was beautiful. St. Nice. Mary Campground was um, was great. We were we were really happy to get a spot. It's a good location. Yeah. To the two places we went to this morning. Yeah. Last so night. Um, last night we drove up to the Many Glacier area, and we checked out the lodge. Um, we had intentions of doing a short hike up there, but we um, ran short on time. We um, left Kalispell. We had to um, dump sewer, fill water, find propane. Um, we needed to check all of the engine oil and transmission fluid and all of that. So um, we spent a little bit more time doing some maintenance stuff, which is fine. Yeah. Um, that's why we're flexible. Um, and then today we got up pretty early. Uh, checkout time at St. Mary Campground is noon, which is awesome. That's the yeah, best that time. Nice. Yeah. So um, we got up early. We um, did breakfast in the car so that we could head up to. Um, the going to the Sun Road. So the other day we went as far as Logan Pass um, and then turned around and went back. It was getting ready to rain from and we... From the west side. Yeah, from the west side. Um, it was getting ready to rain. Um, they were calling for some thunderstorms and we didn't really care to be on the road. That's a pretty crazy road. You'll see some video or you already have so um, which was crazy crazy tight. Yeah. There's no way I'd want to do it in a dually or anything bigger than a traverse. <laughs> right. They have a 21 foot length and 8 foot wide requirement. So if you do have a larger vehicle, um, keep that in mind. You won't be able to do the going to the Sun Road. Um, but they do have free shuttles. So uh, don't let that stop you from visiting Glacier. Um, as it's definitely a highlight and should be on everybody's bucket list for Holy sure. Holy cow. It wasn't on mine, but I am so glad we did. I would suggest now everybody go to Glacier. Um, the glaciers are, are receding. They're all going away. I think somebody said that it was 2030. They'll be gone. In yeah. our lifetime, they're going to be gone. So, um, you know, I'm glad our kids got to see it. I think they enjoyed it. They learned a lot about the area and the plants and um, how they're formed and stuff like that. So that was really, really cool. Yeah, we had some very educational opportunities today. Um, so we drove up to Logan Pass and looked around for a minute. Their parking was already full by the time we got there at nine o'clock in the morning, um, which is fine. We had stopped the other day, so um, we just started making our way back. And on our way back down, we stopped at basically every pullout, like destination pullout we could. So we wanted to hit it all. And that was kind of the plan for the day is to wear the kids out. Um, it was 
awesome. We had some cute little, um, what we were telling our kids were hikes. Um, they were just little like walks along the road, but um, they really enjoyed it. So at, at three and a half and two years old, um, it was it was just perfect for them. So we talked about lots of different things. We learned what a glacier was. We talked about tunnels. We talked about switchbacks on trails. Um, just some really cool things and a great opportunity that we may not have ever had with our kids otherwise. So um, once we got all that done, we headed back to the camper and we needed to pack up and load up and get ready to pull out by noon. Um, we, didn't, we didn't have much um, for sewer, so we just did a really quick dump on our way out. Um, I can do it in like a minute and a half, two minutes now, my dump, the sewer, the black tank, and the gray tank. He's gotten pretty good at it. <laughs> He's had a little bit of practice now. <laughs> So St. Mary Campground is no hookups, but they do have fresh water and a sewer dump. They have garbage, they have showers, uh, picnic tables. So nice it's, bathrooms too, they were clean. Yeah, it's a full service campground. You just don't have hookups. 